Have you ever felt tired that you cannot move a single finger? Or felt so active that you feel that you can do a number of tasks in a day? Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey again to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Come on and let's see how science is everywhere! Today, we are going to talk about kinetic and potential energy. In this topic, we will discover the following. What is the difference between kinetic and potential energy? What are the different forms of kinetic and potential energy? And how are kinetic and potential energy evident in our daily lives? Going back to our question earlier, sometimes we feel tired or active and we can relate that to lack or excess energy in our bodies. Energy is defined as the ability of a body to do work. Like human bodies, other bodies such as machines and robots possess energy. The energy developed during work is called mechanical energy. It has two forms, potential energy and kinetic energy. What's the difference between these two forms of mechanical energy? Let's find out! Let's begin with potential energy. This is the stored energy in a body relative to its position. The SI unit for potential energy is joules. It has two forms, gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy. Gravitational potential energy is the energy stored in an object due to its position from the ground. Examples are a raised weight from the ground, a yo-yo before it is released, and a child about to slide. Gravitational potential energy is mathematically expressed as Gravitational potential energy equals mgh, where m is equal to mass, g is equal to acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meter per second squared, and h is equal to height. Another form of potential energy is elastic potential energy. It is the energy of a body due to stretching or compressing. Examples are stretching out the rubber bond from a slingshot, a stretch bow, and an extending diving board. Elastic potential energy is mathematically expressed as potential energy equals 1 half kx squared, where k is equals to spring constant and x is equal to distance from its equilibrium position. Let's try solving potential energy word problems together! Problem number one. For your home quarantine exercise, you lifted a 2 kilogram weight to a height of 2 meters above the ground. What is its potential energy? Our given are mass, which is equals to 2 kilograms, acceleration due to gravity, which is constant, 9.8 meter per second squared, and height, which is equals to 2 meters. The formula for gravitational potential energy is mgh, multiplying 2 kilograms, 9.8 meter per second squared and 2 meters will result to 
39.2 joules. Problem number two. Two train carts connected by a 0.30 meter spring hit a wall, compressing the spring to 0.20 meters. What is its potential energy if the spring constant is 50 newton meters? We will know that we are solving for elastic potential energy because our given R spring constant or K, which is equals to 50 newton meters, and the distances which are 0.30 meters and 0.20 meters. From the formula 1 half Kx squared, we have to solve for the displacement or x first by subtracting 0.30 meters from 0.20 meters, which will result to negative 0.10 meters. Now let's use the formula. 1 half times 50 newton meters times negative 0.10 meters squared. We begin first by raising negative 0.10 meter to the second power, which will result to 0.01 meter squared. Now, we can multiply 50 newton meter by 0.01 meter squared, which will result to 0.5 newton meter squared. Now, we can multiply 1 half with 0.5 newton meter squared, which will result to 0.25 joules, which is our elastic potential energy. Can you still keep up? Great! Now, from the form of energy due to its position, let's move on to the form of energy in motion. Kinetic energy. It is the energy in a body due to its motion. The SI unit for kinetic energy is joules and is mathematically expressed as kinetic energy equals 1 half mv squared, where m is equals to mass and v is equals to speed. Let's try solving for a kinetic energy word problem together. What is the kinetic energy of a 0.5 kilogram online package thrown with a velocity of 3 meter per second? Let's list our given. We have m or mass which is equals to 0.5 kilograms and we also have our v or velocity which is equals to 3 meter per second. Now let's use our formula for kinetic energy. 1 half times 0.5 kilograms times 3 meter per second squared. And it will result to 2.25 kilogram meter per second or 2.25 joules. Great job for helping me solve a kinetic energy word problem. Now, kinetic energy has three forms. Translational energy, vibrational energy, and rotational energy. Translational energy is due to the linear motion of an object. An example is a train moving on a track. Vibrational energy is due to the vibrational motion of an object. Examples are the spring of a bobblehead doll, which causes it to move when there's a force motion, and the strong guitar strings. Rotational energy is due to the rotational motion around an axis of an object. Examples are the spinning wheels of a bicycle, merry-go-round, and a rotating electric fan. You did great! 
I hope you learned a lot today and apply these learnings in your daily lives. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday. And together, let us discover things around us because science is everywhere. I am Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vival. Goodbye, everyone!